Hello, welcome back to another adventure at Weaver Stone House Farms. And well, again, we're in a garage, we're in front of the garage, and we're fixing, repairing, and rebuilding. So, we're going to work on a log splitter today. Um, so this is a multi point video. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, change the filter, and we also need to change the Lovejoy coupling out. Um, so, here is the Lovejoy coupling. This is one half of it. We're going to talk about that a little bit. And we also utilize a Honda motor on ours, which has been a phenomenal engine for this thing. We picked it up used from a local lawnmower repair shop. The engine is phenomenal. Like I tell you, it's been just great. So we're going to recoupling this, put it back together. We'll talk about that love coupling so you get the sizes. Um, and you can see if you wanted to put a Honda on yours to make it work, well, you'll see that along the way. So here we go. Here are all the Lovejoy components that are needed to make this work. So let's start with the pump itself. So that, that's the part number, the L090, and then there's a tiny little point, so it's 0 .500, so half an inch, and that is that shaft opening here, right? And then what fits our Honda motor, the same series, the L090 series, and it's a 0.875 so it's actually bigger than three quarter inch um, and then the spider that goes in between it that's truly your coupling so there's the numbers for the spider now if you've never seen one of these if you don't know what they do they're, they're pretty basic they're used in all different types of motor applications you can see your coupling goes there and that's three pieces and you can see there's three holes here and it's pretty simple And that couples it together, pulls it real nice. And if something goes wrong, it'll shake these loose. Now ours, I think my my set screw came loose on one of mine, which kind of made it go to pieces. Which is why we're replacing it. Grind it out to make it fit. Okay, so I had to make that hole much bigger. Um, cut it, torch it, grind it, whatever you need to do to enlarge the hole. With a hole saw, it is going to be quite difficult. Um, so I ended up, you can see mine's angled around. I just used a grinder, and then I had some additional um, heavy-duty grinder bits that went on my drill, and I went around and cleaned that out. So, Okay, so this is the bit that I was using to grind that hole a little bit bigger. So There it is. You can see it on the end. So I don't know how many horsepower it is. I have no idea, but it does the job. It works. So there it is. This was probably off of a, a push mower. And it just works. It's great. So let's take a look at the size of it underneath. You can see that is a heck of a shaft. You can see there are four bolt holes. Um, and they are not lined up per perfectly on this. Right? And there's a keyway on it. Okay, And that's where that point eight seven five comes from. Is right here. So let's grab that coupling while I have it. And there's a keyway on it. And that fits just as it should, right up in there. So then I'll tighten that up and put it all together. Honda down over top of that hole. I think, I don't know, maybe I might have used those three holes because that's what was lined up prior. Maybe hydraulic pump is. Um, my hydraulic pump is on it. Let's see if there's a number on it. Yes, can we get number? comes off if you need to sand shaft i may end up sanding the shaft just a little bit okay so i took and enlarged the holes a little bit um i marked out i'm putting the fourth hole in this time you can see they are not true um they're not squared up they're weird but that's okay and the holes i made them a little bit bigger than three eighths um so i go ahead and have easier to get the motor in and i'll tighten them up afterwards Magnet on a stick to the rescue. I'll tell you what, this is the best thing. I, I love this. I bought it at Harbor Freight. You can probably get one on Amazon too. And it has wheels and just goes along and you, it gets all the metal. It's a very strong magnet. So I was wondering, where's my keyway? There it is. Got my keyway. Nice. Don't have to make a trip to town. 
Okay, so I'm going to clean the shaft up just a little bit. Use some sandpaper on here. Polishing. Polishing. Yep, looks good to me. Okay, let's take that oil filter off. So that's a Cross 25. My guess, this is probably the original oil filter. Yeah, not too tight. Good. Okay. Fluid looks decent, which is good. I mean, that's clean, clear fluid. I'm not seeing a lot of water. That I'm happy with. Napa Gold filter, 1553. That's something I can get a part number for and find it again easily. I always smear a little bit of oil on there. I'd normally put oil in it, but since it's sideways, it's kind of hard to do that. See it here? 1553. <laughs> Maintain one inch from top. Never run below this level. Well, well. We're going to put a little bit of fluid in there. I don't think it's too low, but we're going to put a little bit in. In case you're wondering, this is not a standard plug. This is drilled. That's your breather. It's open. Hydraulic oil. I run all different kinds that are farm. So you can see this is just universal from tractor supply. If I'd have had any good used fluid, I would have dumped it in here, I can tell you. Okay. Put my favorite anti-seize on the shaft, people scream. No, stop, don't. Don't put anti-seize on it. I put anti-seize on everything. Okay, so this is the bigger one. This is the 0.875. Put that on. Put her on. So uh, they're two inch bolts. All right. So I've got to stick these bolts down through that little bracket down the end of that bottom piece. That's what I got to do. That's why this is so painful to do. Spider should be close to where I left off. I had to loosen up the set screw here so I could allow the coupling to slide up on the shaft for everything to fit properly. Now we're loosened up. Perfect. Now we'll put our bolts in. We'll tighten up. Okay. Okay, so the part that I didn't show that well in the video right there is when those two Lovejoy couplings come together, you, you want them seated on that spider so they're solid. You don't want them squished. You don't want to hold, you don't really don't want too much gap. You can have a little bit, but you don't want much gap. So those two pieces come together, go to that middle rubber spider. So I had to play with that a fair amount with adjustments on the set screws um, on the shaft of those two between the pump and the motor to get them right into the middle into the sweet spot I couldn't get the video camera in there. I apologize for it. And then I was done. I really cranked those set screws tight So Before I started this I did a couple test pulls just to get that coupling to spin Make sure the motor wasn't locked up for me flipping the thing around for some stupid reason 
So it's pulled good, clear, nothing rubbing. I was okay with it before I went ahead and started it. Yes, I put oil in the motor. So there's that pump. The Lovejoy coupling. Yeah, I don't have enough light for that. It's back in. The bolts are in. Motor's in. And let's make sure she starts. So let's turn it to the on position. A little bit choke. Hey, so thanks for following along. And we'll see you next time on the farm. We're in the garage. Subscribe. We greatly appreciate it. Like the video. Tell your friends about us. See ya.